it's time to revisit this teen classic. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be looking at the top 10 Freaky Friday cast, Where Are They Now? <gasps> Look at me! I know, we seem to be inside I'm each old! I beg your pardon? Oh, I'm like the Crypt Keeper! Okay, that's enough! For this list, we'll be looking at all the prominent actors from this early aughts movie and seeing what they've been up to since 2003. Number 10. Haley Hudson Haley Hudson played one of Anna's besties and bandmates in Freaky Friday, which was actually her first film role. How can you be there? Aren't you like the maid of horror or something? After gaining recognition, she continued to work in both film and television. She has small roles in major movies like Marley and Me, where she acted alongside the likes of Owen Wilson and Jennifer Aniston. You're a dog person, right? Uh, actually... Ready? I'm... Here we go. On television, she worked on projects like Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, and The Mentalist. Most recently, she starred in the supernatural horror movie The Pact, which garnered praise for her performance and reprised her role in the sequel, The Pact 2, which was released in 2014. Well, um, what do we do now? Where do you think we should go? Number 9. Christina Vidal Christina Vidal played Anna's other close friend, Maddie, and it turns out she actually was a musician in real life too, singing in the band Gemstone. Yeah. Vidal has mostly left the film industry without any credits since 2010, and has focused on her career in television. She has had one-off roles in a number of TV shows, as well as longer arcs on shows like Training Day and Code Black. Somebody help! I need help in here! Come on. You can't die in my first week, Jesse, please. Her upcoming project is United We Fall, a sitcom which will be airing on ABC and in which she plays a starring role. Number 8. Steven Tobolovsky Spectacular stunt, my friends. But all for naught. Turn around, please. Steven Tobolovsky has had a prolific acting career, appearing in more than 200 movies, as well as making a huge number of TV appearances. I think that'd be fairly pointless, but go ahead. He had plenty of roles before Freaky Friday and has had many since, appearing in films like The Time Traveler's Wife and voicing a part in The Lorax. On TV, he's appeared on shows like Glee, Heroes, and Deadwood, among many more. Lawrence County Commissioner, the position is real. More recently, he's focused on podcasting as well as acting, with shows like The Tobolovsky Files and Big Problems, an advice podcast. Hello, this is Stephen Tobolovsky in Hollywood. Well, I'm not really in Hollywood. This is North Hollywood, which is the cheaper, shabbier part of Hollywood. Number 7. Ryan Malgarini Ryan Malgarini played Anna's annoying little brother Harry in Freaky Friday, who her mother seems to always side with despite his antagonistic behavior. Ha <laughs> ha! What did you do with it, troll? Oh, Anna, why do you always have to blame him for everything? He got into acting in commercials because he saw his grandmother doing so and hasn't looked back since. My name's Matt Dalton. I was a student of yours about 10 years ago. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by. Don't be a stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Malgarini has continued to act since appearing in the film, but Freaky Friday is still the role he's best known for. He's had small roles in both television and film, appearing in sitcoms like Fresh Off the Boat and Mike and Molly, as well as movies such as Dinner in America and The Young Kishlowski. I'm talking about oral sex. Oh my okay. gosh, okay, okay. we're end conversation. Number six, Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon is Anna's future stepfather in the movie, who she warms up to as the narrative plays out. Well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh, cold sore. Cold sore. Where? Mm, I feel it coming on right there. Big one. I don't Big care. No, 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 really. I'm thinking of you. Really? You? Okay. The month after Freaky Friday hit theaters, Harmon embarked on the role that would end up defining his career, even though he was a prominent actor before Freaky Friday. He debuted as Leroy Jethro Gibbs on police procedural show NCIS, a role which he continues to play today. You find court? I'm still waiting on my guys from across the pond. They don't work quite as fast as we do. While he hasn't done much film acting since 2003, he's kept busy with his television role, and in 2010, he was inducted into the Pierce College Athletic Hall of Fame 
because of his college football accomplishments. I've been on this case less than 24 hours. When I get something concrete, I will let you know. Number 5. Rosalind Chow Much of Rosalind Chow's film career took place before she played Pei Pei in Freaky Friday, but she's still been a prolific television actress in more recent years. Oh, hi, hi, hi! You back so soon! Hey, sexy, new look for you, Mrs. Coleman. You look hot! Two for lunch? She's appeared on Castle, Blackish, The OA, and The Catch, along with many others. I, I am Pat. Pat Noller. I, I write for the Chicago Tribune. I'm sorry, I, I don't have anything to say to you. No, you, you don't have to say anything, but please listen. I specialize in long-form investigative reporting. In 2019, Chow was asked to be part of the Academy Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences because of her contributions to film, notably her roles in The Joy Luck Club and I Am Sam. Premature baby claims he's Cupid, has arrow to prove it. You believe that? In 2020, she appeared in the hotly anticipated live-action remake of Disney's Mulan, playing the titular character's mother, Wali. We must be strong. Number 4. Lucille Sung The plot of Freaky Friday was contingent on Pei Pei's meddling mother, who kicked off the magic that caused Anna and Tess to switch bodies. Hello? Hello? Did you give them the fortune cookie? The role was played by Lucille Sung, who has had a long role in the entertainment industry, acting since 1959. The role she's become best known for is Grandma Huang from Fresh Off the Boat, where she was a recurring character in the first season and was promoted to series regular for the rest of the show's run. Post Freaky Friday, she also did some film work with roles in movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, and Nine Dead. A well supplied fortress. There is no need to fight if they cannot get to us. Number 3. Chad Michael Murray. While teen viewers already knew Chad Michael Murray from his role as Tristan on Gilmore Girls, his star definitely began to rise in 2003. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Me? Yeah, you. My name is Rory. And I'm Tristan. Hi. So you new? Yeah, first day. Well, Remy's class is rough. Not only did he star as Anna's love interest Jake in Freaky Friday, but he also kicked off his best-known role yet as Lucas Scott in One Tree Hill. So what'd you bet? I win, Nathan stays on the team. Why? Because it's the last thing he wants. To us, he'll always be an adolescent heartthrob, but more recently he's taken on adult roles in films like Fruitvale Station and Survive the Night. But he went back to his teen drama roots, taking on the role of Edgar Evernever on Riverdale. <laughs> Number 2. Jamie Lee Curtis Jamie Lee Curtis had already been a household name for decades when she starred in Freaky Friday. Do you want to know why adults are so tired all the time? Because they spend all their time obsessing about these stupid, lame things they don't really have to do, like cooking. I mean, have you never heard of Takeout? One of the major reasons for her fame was her role in the Halloween franchise, and in 2018, she revisited the series when she reprised her role as Laurie Strode. But at least I can protect you. Nothing will happen to you. I know you thought this was my cage. She's never stopped acting seriously, and in 2019, she had a role in the ensemble blockbuster Knives Out. Over the years, she's also focused on writing, with a job at the Huffington Post as well as publishing her own books. She's also vocal about her political opinions, supporting Hillary Clinton in 2016. Born and raised in this city of angels, and there are many angels, and I am standing next to one of them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lindsay Lohan Mom, stop shrinking me! It's not about Dad! It's about the audition! You're ruining my life! Lindsay Lohan may have made a name for herself as a child star, but she's come a long way since The Parent Trap. The year after Freaky Friday was released, she starred in the mega-hit Mean Girls, but even though she had other prominent roles after that, her personal life seemed to overtake her professional accomplishments in the headlines. 
Lindsay Lohan is out of jail after being released in the wee hours this morning, but the troubled actress is not exactly a free woman. It seems like she's trying to get back in the spotlight for positive reasons, though, starting with opening up several nightclubs in Greece and filming a reality show about one of them. She's also making a return to music and, in April of 2020, released the single Back To Me, which was praised by critics. Lohan is always keeping us on our toes. Who knows what she'll be up to next? Ugh, I got busy, sorry. So you need a ride to my art show this weekend? Oh, no, I have to go to Madison with my parents. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.